Response to stimuli by animals. At night, when you switch on the kitchen light, cockroaches start running to their hiding places. When you enter a dark room from a brightly lit area, you are not able to see for some time. Similarly, when you come out of a dark room into brightly lit area, you are not able to open your eyes. When you move towards a bird, it immediately flies away. When you put some food grains, the birds come flying and start eating them. Flies gather on uncovered food items. On seeing a stranger, the dog starts barking. Response to stimuli by plants. The roots of plants always grow downwards towards water, while the stem always grows upwards towards light. When you touch the leaves of a touch-me-not plant, its leaves respond to the touch and get folded or drooped. Lotus flowers open in the morning and close by sunset. Stomata of a leaf open during daytime and close at night. Only living things respond and change according to the conditions of the surroundings. The change allows an individual to survive or to escape from danger. Living things reproduce. Reproduction is the ability of living things to produce their own kind. It is a unique feature possessed only by living organisms. Both animals and plants reproduce, though the methods of reproduction differ. Animals like fish, frogs, snakes, lizards and birds lay eggs which hatch into young ones. Animals like dogs, cats, cows, horses and human beings give birth to young ones. Plants produce new plants mainly from seeds or spores. This is called germination. Pea, gram, wheat, tomato and trees of mango, neem, people, etc. grow from their seeds. In some plants, new plants grow from their stem, root or leaves. Rose, jasmine, mint and sugarcane are produced by the method of stem cuttings. Ginger, onion and potato multiply from underground stem. In bryophyllum, Several tiny plants grow from buds present in the notches of leaf margin. Living things have definite lifespan. Lifespan of an organism is the period for which it remains alive. All living things have a definite lifespan. The average lifespan of some organisms is given in this table. Have a look. Table showing lifespan of some organisms. The lifespan of bacteria is 20 to 30 minutes. That of a housefly is 1 to 4 months. A mouse on an average remains alive for 1 to 3 years. A dog for 15 to 20 years. Lifespan of a spider is 20 years. That of a horse and lion is 20 to 25 years. Lifespan of an elephant is 70 to 90 years. That of a man is 80 to 100 years. Lifespan of a tortoise is 120 to 190 years. Seasonal plants like herbs have a lifespan of two to three months. 
shrubs have a lifespan of several years and trees have a lifespan of up to 100 years or more. Each organism follows a definite life cycle. It starts its life cycle as a single-celled organism called zygote. The zygote undergoes a series of irreversible changes to achieve a final form. This is called development. Orderly development is the characteristic of all living things. For example, human beings are born as babies. They grow, reproduce, become old and die. Non-living things What are non-living things? There are some things that do not need air, water and food. They do not move by themselves, grow or have babies. Some of them can be seen in the picture below. Circle them using a red color pencil. These things are called non-living things. The world around us is made up of both living and non-living things. Differentiate between living things and non-living things. The main differences between living and non-living things are listed in the table here. 1. Living things are highly organized and have a definite shape and size, while non-living things are less organized and do not have a definite shape and size. 2. Living things are made up of cells, while non-living things are not formed of cells. 3. Living things can repair the damage caused to their body, whereas non-living things cannot repair the damage. 4. Living things change according to changes in their environment called adaptation, while non-living things are unable to adapt. 5. Living things show movements. Non-living things do not move on their own. 6. Living things need food for growth, repair and energy, while non-living things do not take food. 7. Living things respire to inhale oxygen for oxidation of food and release of energy, while non-living things do not respire and do not produce energy. 8. Living things produce excretory waste. Non-living things do not excrete. 9. Living things respond to stimuli whereas non-living things do not respond to stimuli. 10. Living things reproduce their own kind, while non-living things do not reproduce. 11. Living things show increase in size. The growth is internal and irreversible, whereas non-living things do not grow. The increase in size is external and reversible. 12. Living things follow a definite life cycle, while non-living things do not follow any life cycle. And 13. Living things have a definite lifespan. Non-living things do not have a fixed lifespan. Differentiate between plants and animals. 1. Green plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis called autotrophic nutrition, whereas animals get their food from plants or other animals called heterotrophic nutrition. 2. 
Plants do not move from place to place since they lack organs for locomotion. While animals move from place to place since they have organs for locomotion. 3. Plants grow throughout their life, that is, they have unlimited growth. While growth in animals is limited up to a certain period. 4. Plants show growth at the tips of shoots and roots. It is a localized growth. While animals show uniform growth in their body called diffused growth. 5. Plants lack sense organs and they show slow response to external stimuli. While animals have sense organs and show quick response to external stimuli. 6. Plant cells have cell wall and chloroplasts. While animal cells do not have cell wall and chloroplasts.